When planting grain sorghum, the right seeding rate for your region can be key in achieving your yield goals. Calvin Trossel, grain sorghum specialist for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension in Lubbock, advises producers to take a less is more approach when it comes to choosing a dry land seeding rate. Based on soil moisture, we will kind of pinpoint what we see as a target seed drop. And if you've got good deep soil moisture, four or five inches of soil moisture available to that crop, then we will target a seed drop somewhere in the, in the low to mid 30s. I often use 32,000 seeds per acre. 40 inch rows, that's two and a half seeds per foot. If you're on 30 inch rows, then that's about 1.8, 1.9 seeds per foot. So that's the starting point, but what about the situation if we are absent that deep soil moisture, we can get the crop up, we feel like we've got the, the surface is wet, we can get the crop up, but we don't have much under there. So I need to start to think in terms about managing my risk because if I never get the kind of rains that would develop that profile of moisture, then I've got to try to grow a sorghum crop without the, the advantage of that deep moisture to help propel my yield potential forward through harvest time. And I've done this many times. I'll drop two seeds per foot on 40 inch rows. That's 26,000. If it's very dry, then we might even reduce seeding rates towards 20,000 if it's late in the season. My goal is that you as a farmer make a crop and making that crop is a low modest uh, seed drop, results in a, in a modest plant population that can adjust for conditions if they fall favorable rather than having too many plants out there overpopulating your field and then it turns dry and you don't have enough moisture per plant to really pull you through to making uh, a reasonable grain yield. Because seeding rates depend so heavily on soil moisture, Trussell recommends planting between 50,000 and 55,000 seeds per acre for farmers on the South Plains who plan to irrigate their sorghum. Keeping seeding rates down enables the crop to handle drought, retain good yield potential, and still take advantage of moisture when it comes. High end grain sorghum, uh, high yield potential 10,000 pounds per acre plus. Uh, we will go towards 60,000 seeds per acre. The maximum that we would ever recommend in West Texas for seed drop on, on even the full irrigation, highest yield potential is about 80,000. We've just seen that you do not have to have those super high populations to hit these high yield potentials. We, we tie this all together and it comes back to projected irrigation. And what do you know? today about your soil moisture status that gives us an adjustment on what we think uh, is an appropriate seed drop knowing that going forward do we have to plan and account for the fact that if we have a dry summer that we still got a good chance at a reasonable sorghum crop in terms of yield potential. Seeding to obtain a modest plant population is both agronomically and economically less risky than seeding a higher plant population under dry conditions. Typically growers tend to overestimate the amount of seed that they would be planting for dry land sorghum uh, and irrigated. Uh, given the dry nature of the conditions we have in the South Plains, many times the concept of less is more truly will make a higher yield at the end of the season. Producers looking for more sorghum production information can watch the presentations made at the 2013 Sorghum U Session in Lubbock, Texas. Visit sorghumu.com for complete presentation video on water and irrigation management, inputs and profits, weed control, marketing opportunities, and more.